Hello and welcome back to my journeyman save with Brecon City. Today we're back for the Scottish Cup first round draw. I do always love a good cup draw, so... Let's see who we get placed against. Looks like there are a lot of non-league teams in here. In fact, League 2 is the highest team that we can get placed against. So here's hope we get someone um, not in a league, like Kelty Hearts. We'll have a quick look over our league form once we're placed. Oh, here we go. So who do we get? I'm going to bet. I'm really feeling, I think, Bonnie Rig. Oh, I got Albion Rovers. How many? I think that's the only league, league team versus league team matchup we've got here. That's very unfortunate. Up against Albion Rovers, they're tenth at the moment. There's only ten teams in the league, so fingers crossed we do well against them. Yeah, since the last time we were here, we played against Queens Park last in the one nil win. We then also had a win over Hibernian, which I wasn't expecting, and neither, neither were they. We got the one nil win. Ross Irving put in the goal for us, but then after that, we had a bit of a down downturn in form. We lost 3-0 against Stranria, 3-0 against Denhouse Moor, and we did manage to get a win against Annan. Paul Wright had some two goals to him. David Dengana got another goal himself. And yeah, we've got a game against Cowdenbeath, which I'll do off camera so we can come back for the cup game. All right, and we're back. Unfortunately, we didn't do all that well. We lost 2-3. Paul Wright managed to get two goals, one at the 92nd minute, but it was just too late. I'm starting to think, like, we're having plenty of chances in these games. Like, we had more than enough possession. We had more than enough, like, shots. We just, I think we need to, we might need to go back to a one striker setup. Have one striker at the front and then have a defensive midfielder to help us not concede goals at the back. That might be our best option, I think. But I'll probably just play out the rest of the season with this tactic. And if we start failing pretty badly, then we'll then we'll make some changes. Um, a new guy I brought in is Jack Breen. He's a looks like a pretty pretty solid. Well, Looks like a pretty solid um, center, um, center mid. He's got decent physicals. I always like having good pace in like, every position ever. So I like that on him. His work rate's good. You know, he can pass. He can tackle a bit. He's not like a defensive legend, but he'll do the job. And so I've brought him in to act as a third or a third and fourth between Todd and Miller. Because Miller is on... Oh no, Miller's on 50 a week. Never mind. That's okay. So whenever the contract for Todd and Baron run out, I want to have some midfielders in place who can take over. Um, actually, you know what? Let's try out a... Yeah, let's try out a 4-3-3 wide today. We'll try using this tactic with a defensive mid. We'll put... Baron as the defensive middle, make him the deep line playmaker. Then we can have a box to box midfielder and a. I think a Mazala would be good. I think I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see how. We'll see how we go anyway. Oh, we also brought on a new left wing back, another 16 year old. Apparently, we're just going to be running a nursery soon with how young everyone is. But his physicals are really good. He's got decent mentals. And his technical obviously needs a lot of work, but you know, for fifty pound a week, can't really complain there. He looks very playable. So he's gonna be starting from now on. We've got Dave McKay might not be getting his contract renewed. 
but that's all right. He's on 150 a week compared to everyone else in the team. He's a really high earner at the moment. But yeah, let's get into it. I hope we have a much better performance from the back line specifically. Some better playmaking, better possession, and just better shot creation. And we're on the defense early. I come in with a nice save. I have thought about brooding, bleh, I have thought about bringing on a new goalkeeper as well. I want to get a better young replacement and also just an upgrade as well because McMinn's still not a very good goalie. He's acceptable, but he's not going to be winning any games for us. Green's really cutting in. He's my left back, isn't he? Oh no, he's just a uh, mid -border. Ooh. We try to left foot that a goal. I think the left foot's that good, Paul. Oh, no, he is left footed. There we go. And uh, his left foot's probably pretty good. He can probably make that attack with his left foot. Alright, clean. Come on, don't lose it. That's better. Oh, that was dangerous. That was so close to being a goal there. Doesn't look like we're playing great. Nakavora is not having a good game. Neither's Miller. The entire front end's just not having a good game. Not happy with our performance. We can do better than this. Jameson scored. We just let him through as well. It's just the laziest defense. Oh, oh, that queen missed his header. The guys are going to bring it back here. Queen's going to make up for it. Queen to Breen. To Todd. Back to Breen. No, he gave it away. Holland puts a good ball forward to Makavora. He can knock it through to right. That was awful. Actually, no, just for that, you're coming off now, Makavora. We'll bring on Vesa. We'll play him as a winger. Who else is coming off? We'll bring off Miller now as well. Bring Church back on. McKay's probably not going to be at the club for too much longer. Well, maybe I'll send him away on loan or something, but he's the backup to who's now the backup. And I don't think we're really a team that needs a third string left back. Wow, we've had 59% possession. How are we not converting anything? Alright, that's an awful ball. It's alright, at least we're going to get it to hopefully put a counter attack in. Through the church. To Breen. Breen the ball into Todd. Todd up to Veza, yeah. Oh! That could have been a goal. We've had zero shots on target this game. And a much better XG even with those zero shots on target. We just cannot finish a goal at the moment. Oh, 
That was looking good. A lot of this is looking good. We're just not finishing them, not converting them. Alright, Vez is on the ball. We can knock it up to right. Oh. Come on. Alrighty, what else can we do? We've got Irving. Let's bring Irving on for right. Let's see if Irving can make a difference in the last 10 minutes. Somehow I doubt it. No, that's it. Ah, knocked out of the cup. The board's not going to be happy. The board expected us to go through to the next round as well. Hmm. Unlucky in defeat. Yeah, look at that. 13 shots to their four, 60% possession. Dave McKay's broken his foot. Well, we should probably send him off to a specialist then. Yeah, we'll send him off to a specialist. Get him the best help he can get. I'm not going to talk to him about his injury because he's not a part of my first team plans going forward. It wasn't going to be regardless of the injury. So it sucks for him, but there's nothing I can do about it. Well, the board is disappointed that we were only fairly competitive. However, they can understand we had a difficult draw. So they're happy with one, unhappy with another, so we've just got to make sure the league counts. I think we're going to come back for Elgin City. We'll play that one out. We're going to hopefully be able to do some transfer business after that game because we have a lot of players leaving the club, a lot of players joining it. So Jordan Elliott's a new winger. He's coming on... He's going to be a backup right winger, and so I'm excited for him to join. And leaving the club, we've got our backup goalie, backup center mid, backup right back, one of our center midfielders, and then another center midfielder. None of them saw any play time. They were just pretty awful in general. Like, I really can't have a, a center mid with six pace. Like, it's just not going to happen. That's just pretty unacceptable. And then our Polish striker managed to find a team back in Poland. So very happy for him. Hopefully he'll get a lot more game time then. But importantly, we look at the wages saved there. We're saving £900 a week. While we're bringing in someone who's costing us £35 a week. That's going to... I don't really know what we're going to do with the extra money. I suspect we're probably just going to stockpile it. If we don't get promoted this season, we'll at least be able to get promoted in the next season. And with the extra money we're gaining, I think I'll just be able to use it to keep funding my coaching courses. Because that's a very important thing for me at the moment. Uh, let's see if I get my coaching course. No, I need to click it again. Can I not get a coaching course? Or are they just declining it and not telling me? I'm not quite sure. Well, that about wrap, wraps it up for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, please feel free to chuck a like on the video. If you have any tips or suggestions, chuck it in a comment. I make sure to read everything after every upload. And also, if you liked what you saw, um, yeah, feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to upload at least once every, once every day during beta. I'm trying to schedule my uploads a bit better as well. So hopefully from now on, they should be coming out at a consistent time. But yeah, uh, thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you next time.